a warm welcome to electronic circuits lecture 6 uh, in this video we will uh, learn about bjd differential amplifier and importance of cmrr so what is a differential amplifier it contains two inputs v1 and v2 and generates an output which is v0 and v0 is equal to a times v0 l a times v01 into v1 minus v2 so it co it considers this as the positive potential and this as your negative potential if you consider uh, an operational amplifier it has two terminals one is positive and the neg other is negative so differential amplifier is nothing but which is going to be your input stage of the operational amplifier so this is the first stage of operational amplifier so this is positive and this is negative this is going to be v1 and this is going to be v2 and this is going to have a gain of a times and i am going to operate this in uh, open loop i am going to operate in open loop there is no feedback from output to input if that is the case a into v uh, a v into ol means it is open loop into v1 which is going to be positive v2 is going to be negative so this is the gain of the differential amplifier and if v1 and v2 both are equal if v1 and v2 both are equal what will happen this is this is 10 millivolts and this is again 10 millivolts if both are equal output voltage should be equal to zero so it will not operate for uh, e signals which are common to both the inputs it will operate only for the signals which are uh, which is having difference in input so that is called as differential mode input so which is vd v1 minus v2 for common mode of input you can calculate that vcm is v1 plus v2 so you can operate differential amplifier in two modes one is called as common mode of operation where my output should be equal to zero and in this differential mode my output is finite we will look after uh, one another first is we will operate the differential amplifier in common mode it says that both the inputs both the q1 base and q2 base have been tied together and we are going to feed some input which is vcm which is common to both the transistors what will happen is at the emitter you have a current source if both the emitters have been tied together both the emitters have been tied together you can also call this you can also call this emitter coupled differential amplifier you can call differential amplifier as emitter coupled differential amplifier right so both the emitters have been coupled and the emitter we have a current source which is iq suppose if iq is 2 milliampere i am going to feed both the base by the same input of some 1 volts so what will happen is both are being uh, same both will have the same base current and both the transistor uh, q1 and q2 will have same collector current provided provided q1 q2 are identical if they are identical color currents will be same if that is the case if iq is for numerical values 2 milliampere what will happen the at this node apply apply kcl at emitter node apply kcl at emitter node what will happen is the outgoing current is iq and incoming current is ie1 plus ie2 so my ic and iv I, ic and ie will be equal provided if it has large so ic1 plus ic2 i know that both the currents will be equal both the currents will be equal so i can say that if iq is 2 milliampere iq is 2 milliampere i will have 1 milliampere collector current in first transistor and 1 milliampere current in collector current in second transistor why because base is being with fed with same input so it says that if this current is iq then it would be iq by 2 and this current would be iq by 2 now what i need is i going to calculate vc to 
minus VC1. So what is VC2? VC2 is voltage across the collector of the second transistor. So it is V plus which is this voltage minus drop across RC is IQ IQ by RC minus V plus here also the voltage is IQ by 2 drop across RC is this. So when when you calculate the output voltage the difference in output voltage is equal to 0. So it conveys that when input are input is same if input is same output is 0. So that is the purpose. So this structure itself is providing such kind of output voltage which is required for uh, uh, amplification where two inputs or this is mainly used in instrumentation field where the uh, voltage levels will be much much smaller. So if that is the case this could be used where it is going to obtain only difference between the two signal because in instrumentation amplifiers employed in uh, industries where noise level is more if noise level is been more uh, which has been present at both the inputs those inputs will be rejected and the difference in input will be amplified and that will be taken as the output in the case of instrumentation amplifier and dif uh, which is important in the case of industrial application so differential amplifier is a basic building block for operational amplifier and this operational amplifier will be the basic building block for constructing instrumentation amplifier so this structure the point is this structure itself is going to provide such output when you connect it in common mode of operation where output is tend to be zero so next is differential mode of operation in differential mode of operation suppose if this is vd by 2 if this is vd by 2 and if it is minus vd by 2 both are going to differ in phase by 180 degree it says that if this is increasing if this is increasing if base current of first transistor is increasing then collector current of first transistor will be increasing similarly if you see the next transistor the base current is going to decrease so it says that this collector current is going to decrease similarly if i calculate vc2 minus vc1 i will end up with v plus minus iq by 2 plus delta i into rc which is nothing but drop across rc minus v plus minus iq by sorry it should be vc2 right it should be vc so this is minus uh, plus plus uh, delta i rc so this is minus minus so the resultant will be so this and this will get cancel this will also get this is minus this is minus so this will get cancel and the resultant will be two times of delta i into rc so the structure is going to amplify amplify difference in input the structure itself is going to provide such facility and we are going to use it for differential use it as a differential amplifier what is the advantage the first advantage is the all the uh, we said we are uh, you going to employ this differential amplifier as the first stage in operational amplifier the operational amplifier is an outcome outcome of uh, development in integrated circuits so all the circuits or all the circuits in integrated uh, environment will be experiencing the same temperature drift if they experience same temperature drift the differential amplifier is going to uh, uh, avoid variation in current due to temperatures temperature changes this is the first point and second point is using bipolar voltages because we have uh, employed we have employed two voltages which is v plus and v minus so if you take this if you take v plus and v minus because of this if if you provide v minus here it is going to forward forward base same junction and this v plus is going to reverse bias the 
a collector based junction so this is going to bias it and we don't need any r1 and r2 so this r1 and r2 when it is eliminated it is suitable for integrated environment in in integrated circuits you cannot fabricate larger values of passive resistors r1 and r2 and as well as you have eliminated the use uh, your presence of the capacitor because capacitor has been used for coupling the input to the base of the transistor in when you take single stage amplifier so both resistors and capacitors are been avoided in the case of uh, a differential amplifier and this make a differential amplifier as a best candidate for integrated circuits and third point is direct coupling between uh, stages in multi stage amplifier uh when you employ two or more differential amplifier you can directly fed the output of first differential amplifier to the second differential amplifier input and uh, it avoids capacitor as i already explained and it improves signal to noise ratio in signal processing application since it rejects common signal in the circuit so when you take uh, uh mixed mode circuits mixed mode circuit where your uh, analog and the same substrate will have digital suppose if there is change in signal level from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 there will be uh, uh, random uh, 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 change in values that is going that will affect my analog in those environment in those environment where both analog and digital circuits are present in the same sub substrate you can employ differential amplifier so that the effect of this uh, random change in values of 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 is going to be cancelled by using differential amplifier so it is a suitable candidate for uh, mixed mode circuits right these are all the advantages why we need a differential amplifier and the important thing is we want to calculate common mode rejection ratio it is an ability of differential amplifier to reject the portion of signal which is been common at positive as well as negative input that means when both the inputs are been tied together it should reject the common signal between the two and it should amplify common uh, it should amplify difference in signal so you, you you can convert this into small signal equivalent so cmrr is ability of differential amplifier to reject the common signal and amplify the difference in signal so it is nothing but ad by ac m ad by ac m so we will find this so you when when differential uh, amplifier is operated in differential mode you will get ad when you operate uh, differential amplifier in common mode you will get acm you combine both the results and you will obtain so what we will do is we will convert the differential amplifier into small signal equivalent so this will be the small signal equivalent the point you should understand is every current source will have a resistor which is r not so this r not when when you uh, draw the small signal equivalent dc source should be made equal to zero it is a current source you will have to open circuit it but you will have the shunt resistance which is r not that r not has been considered here so there is an algorithm there are the following steps you will have to follow to derive uh, uh, common uh, mode rejection ratio apply kcl at the emitter node you will get this equation you will have to find v pi 1 and v pi 2 solve for uh, voltage at the emitter so this will be the voltage at the emitter and vd is differential voltage which is vb1 minus vb2 which is nothing but this voltage minus this voltage which is nothing but the differential voltage and vcm is common between the two vb1 plus vb2 divided by 2 v and you calculate uh, you solve this two equations to obtain what is vb1 and vb2 vb1 will be vcm plus vd by 2 and vb2 is vcm minus vb2 and you consider only one one sided outputs in, the, in that case this side alone you consider it and you do the arithmetic you will end up with getting v not is equal to minus beta rc r by plus rb into vb2 minus ve so you have got what is the value of vb2 you have got all the what is the value of ve so v not is minus beta times r divided by 2 r by plus rb into vd minus gmrc over 1 plus 2 into 1 plus beta r not over r by plus rb into vcm so what is uh, ad is ad is nothing but v not by v not by vd so if that is the case this part is going to be your differential mode gain 
and this part is nothing be to be nothing but your common mode gain so you have derived a cmrr you have derived a cmrr which is ad by acm so the end result is cmrr is 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 plus beta r not i not over vt by beta so for a good differential amplifier the cmrr should be much higher for a good differential amplifier cmrr should be infinity but it should be infinity is an ideal case we cannot achieve it but it should be higher so if you want to increase uh, cmrr what is the way you should you can achieve uh, uh, high cmrr is one way is you could improve r not if you improve r not if you increase this r not my cmrr is going to increase you can also ask that why you can't include uh, 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 increase the value of iq so iq is a current source if you increase the current value what will happen to the power dissipation power dissipation if you improve increase the value of current source power dissipation tend to increase that is not desirable the only way you could uh, improve this is you could use you could improve r not there is a famous structure called cascode structure which has which has higher r not value output resistance value by this you can achieve uh, good cmrr value so the question may be like uh, how to improve cmrr the answer is if you you will have to improve the or increase the value of r not to get good cmrr value and thank you